All right, I got tired of waiting for the video discs to show up for my new Hitachi cam, so I'm going to show you the assembly of the etched printed circuit board. And this is using my El Cheapo webcam. I'm just using the edge of the board to hold the chip steady as I bend the pins a little bit straighter. That way the pins point straight down so that I can insert them into the holes on the PC board. So just goes into the board like that. And now I'm going to solder it. You can see how I heat the pin first by touching a little bit of solder on, allowing it to flow. And then I fill solder in from the opposite side of where I'm applying the heat. That way the solder flows nice and evenly. So just touch a little solder and then apply it from the opposite side. And it flows right into the connection. Just get right down the line like that. And there you have it, first uh, component is soldered to the PC board. Now all I have to do is add all the resistors, the capacitors, the tensiometers, and the other voltage regulator. And solder 73 connections in all. And I'll be done with the PC board. Okay, here's the completed PC board. You can see I have all of the components mounted to it. Here is VR1, VR2, and VR3 adjustable trim pots. This is the 7810 voltage regulator. And I've populated the board with all of the resistors and capacitors. Also, if you notice, these terminal posts right here. I did find them on Mauser. The parts list is updated if you want to buy some. They're not cheap. They're about 10 cents a piece. I was very surprised. These are just stamped out little pieces of metal. But uh, if you buy them by 100, they're $10. And if you buy them by the 1,000, they're $50. And here's a good look at the back side. Get a look at all the uh, solder connections on there. And of course, the mark of zero. The completed PWMs will be on sale at altenergy.org sometime next week. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, now is a good time to do it because I'll be making the announcement there precisely when the shopping cart goes live and the units are available for sale. I will only be selling available stock. I'm building 20 complete units. When they are sold out, I will restock and
put them back on sale again. I will not be selling stock that I don't have. There won't be any ridiculous lead times and uh, they will be crafted by the hand of zero. They will be $225 completely wired, tested, and pre-configured to any initial amperage that the customer desires. The completed units will be priced at $225 each on a first come first serve basis only. That's why it's going to be important to sign up for the newsletter so that you're notified immediately when the shopping cart goes live if you want to get in on this first round of, of product that I'm building. Um, they will be completely wired, tested, and pre-configured to any amperage that the customer specifies on the order form. So whatever you want your cell to run at, that's what uh, I will pre-configure it for. They will also come pre-configured at a median frequency of 2500 Hertz, which is um, a pretty respectable, or uh, I would say an average value and a good starting point for you to begin playing with. So that's it for now. Um, I wanted to point out that uh, going forward we're going to have a, a slightly new program with the friends list that I maintain on YouTube. Uh, unlike before where I was only allowing people that I knew in advance to be added to my YouTube friends list, now anybody other than spammers can be my friend so if you would like to post uh, comments to my videos uninhibited and uh, your videos as well just do me a favor send me a friend request I will accept it and uh, as long as you're not a spammer uh, you can then post freely your text comments and videos to my YouTube channel all right that's it for now. Zero fossil fuel. Uh, have to go back to work. Start building some more PWMs. Talk to you soon.